Well, the Prime Minister stands accused of insulting Adelaide's Holden workers with his package aimed at creating new jobs. Critics say $100 million will be nowhere near enough to change the labour market when the carmaker leaves. After pitching in for the salvos at Parliament House, the PM offered a helping hand to Holden workers, a week on from the company's closure announcement. The Commonwealth is putting together a $100 million fund that's $60 million from Canberra, with the PM seeking 12 each from South Australia and Victoria, and hopefully up to 20 million from Holden. All of it aimed at job creating projects. But I don't want us to focus just on South Australia and Victoria, and I don't want us to focus just on the car industry. Short on detail and short on money, too, in the state government's view. Well, the federal government's response to the closure of Holden's is pathetic. The Premier wanted $1 billion. He says given Canberra has saved $200 million in abandoned co-investment, the PM should have done much more. The idea that this amount of money would be sufficient to support the nature and extent of those changes uh, is frankly laughable. But definitely no smiles over this comment about Holden workers. Many of them will probably be liberated. Those words branded insulting. Worst of all, they expressed little or no empathy for Holden's workers and their families. It doesn't give me a lot of confidence, I've got to say, at the moment. The state's nutting out their own solutions today at an industry round table in Melbourne with another scheduled in Adelaide tomorrow. But funding requests to Canberra may be given short shrift. We don't believe in corporate welfare. And Tom Richardson joins us now from Elizabeth. Tom, do you think the state government will contribute to the Prime Minister's package? Well, that's yet to be decided, Kate, but the Premier is adamant there's at least $50 million in state cash set aside for Holden that can now be used for a transition fund. Both he and opposition leader Stephen Marshall have lobbied the PM for infrastructure grants, so they'll certainly be hoping there is more federal money in the kitty. As for Holden itself, it's uh, welcome today's announcement, but is yet to uh, identify a particular investment amount. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, Mitsubishi, when it quit Adelaide, uh, contributed $35 million to skills training, and that's a precedent, Kate, that the government will certainly be citing. Thank you, Tom. Tom Richardson there.